in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed patience patience is a powerful virtue in the spirit what is patience the quality of staying through the quality of staying through the quality of staying through i like the way king james puts it he calls it long suffering everybody say long suffering the word suffering there is not going through hell the word suffering there is like long permission the word suffer in scripture is the word permit hallelujah I, I can't remember where I was talking I think I was talking to uh, I can't remember some gentlemen were at my place and I was talking to them the way spiritual things work eh? five minutes to your breakthrough it will still look like you are in hell you know in the physical you can know that something is getting close sometimes it's not so in the realm of the spirit five minutes to your breakthrough you will still feel like nothing is happening that's why you must walk by faith joseph that he was only 24 hours away from being a prime minister 24 hours by the world system he would have come out of that prison to somewhere else so he can now know that wow i'm rising but in the realm of the spirit no sir it will happen overnight you just wake up and find out that things have changed but the waiting process please hear me i know what i'm saying the waiting process is the test of spiritual maturity every man that comes to you god says he's not the one now you're even afraid of asking him <laughs> but god says wait and you are saying oh god will he ever come he will come home. and the day you see him you will know that he was worth the wait but you can choose to negotiate your way and pack something and cry for the rest of your life and say if only i waited two more months I waited 12 years the last two months is it not painful have you seen people run relay someone from round one or marathon from round one he falls down they keep him somewhere and then someone the last round falls down too they keep them at the same place that's what is so painful with life so you didn't do anything grace to finish through in the name of jesus christ grace to finish through there are many of you you've been holding on to the word of god you are almost there you are almost there your spirit tells you something is about to happen but you are about to give up on god now because of some foolish sensory things listen beware of the sense realm beware of the sense realm is satan's realm of existence to a point that you sit down and start asking yourself let me tell you what satan will do he would direct your eyes to one nonsense that was written by one journalist all these journalists that write against men of god he will now write and say can you see them they leave the poor and the hungry and they are buying nice cars nice watches nice this they are not nice people so your unbelief and your fear now collapse with that information and it gives you a legal platform to disbelieve god so you cheat yourself say i'm a believer shout it i'm a believer who against all hope against hope believe don't give up on god because he won't give up on you he said faith with patience faith with patience faith with patience is powerful the first booster of your faith is patience you know how long abraham waited 
25 years it takes time for the word of God to produce but brothers and sisters when it produces when a woman is pregnant listen when she goes to the hospital and they say madam congratulations you are two weeks pregnant her stomach can still be as flat as an arrow but she's pregnant is that true she believes that report and she's happy about it and then gradually in an annoying way the child starts growing gradually with all the side effects that comes two months to go she knows she must wait at a point she can tell her husband my husband i'm tired but you know that patience is not a choice if you want that baby are we together you can wait when you give birth to a baby at five months what happened was that a baby are we together a woman does not say see i'm tired this is five months go and bring out this baby i can't wait she endures sometimes even when the edd has passed she will, the baby will still take plus one week or two weeks are we together and she will still be trusting god but when the baby arrives visitors will start coming they come all the money they give is to you but it's on account of that baby do you not know that your waiting is business itself you will be paid for waiting that baby is the light that the bible says will arise oh you will be paid for waiting because the people who are paying you will rather pay you and receive it they can't wait as long as you are waiting because you went through hell they can't go through it so they will be forced to honor your grace god designed the system that way they can't buy you they can criticize you but if they must get that dimension they must honor your grace so please i like you to say my waiting is not a waste shout it my waiting is not a waste listen successful people are those who continued when failure stopped i don't watch movies but there's this film that will never leave my mind lord of the rings hey, jimmy lord of the rings there's that short guy what's his name no 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 he has a friend thank you Sam is the most inspiring person for me in that film there was a time if you've not watched it don't worry just believe what i'm saying <laughs> are we together the gentleman who was the ring bearer was the only one authorized by prophecy to hold the ring point he was and then the friend said something he said i may not be able to carry the ring but i can carry you come on now come on now i don't watch movie for entertainment i watch movie for prophecy prophetic messages that are in line with the word of god i may not be able to carry the ring but i can carry you i can carry you i can carry you force your body to speak that to your spirit i don't know the blessing but i will keep carrying the spirit until the result comes all the days of my appointed time brothers and sisters the bible says surely there is an end everybody say it surely there is an end. over that pain surely there is an end. they went through fire they went through hell when you see us stand and talk sometimes you think we are bragging no sir it is testimony that is nice the process is painful when a woman stands and says for 15 years I had 20 miscarriages but now God gave me triplets at once somebody said what's the big deal those are the kind of people who will never receive anything from God 15 years of insult 15 years of being called a man as a woman 15 years of being threatened that they will marry another wife yet she stood she, she bought her doll baby at the fifth year she bought the clothes by faith hoping the child will come and she was disappointed in ministry in business when you see a successful person young or old respect their tears respect their pain it is only when you have the light that people come are we together there are times in this journey of faith you will have to walk alone because others will say we warn you that's not the way 
and you choose to walk in it ah, but when you hold that light when you hold that light then the gentiles come to your light i'm encouraging someone already it will come to pass mm. that's one of my best my best scriptures in the bible it never comes to stay it comes to pass chronos it must pass mm. who is like him lion and the lamb seated on the floor i just feel god is really encouraging someone mountains bow down every ocean roll to the lord of lords listen let them laugh at you you are not the first to be laughed at are you hearing what i'm saying the bible says as soon as zion travels it is here, as soon as zion rejoices you will have to cry it's not unbelief that yes patience and say lord i may be crying but i wait upon you i'm holding on to the horns of the altar i know my god will show up okay if you laugh at me i would have laughed at myself if i were you but the word of god my god the word of god has the power of resurrection they have learned they now know what to do with challenges mm my spirit is fired up someone needs to be patient someone needs to be patient wait i will never forget years ago at new extension here i was invited that time they didn't used to invite me i was anointed i was still very anointed i will never forget i prayed and fasted for three days I had to go out in the rain no protocol to help me but there was prophecy upon my life brothers and sisters if you forget anything don't forget that there is a prophetic word I know there's no money in your pocket but there is something upon your life listen I want you to educate yourself tonight of rising above what people say if you want to be great if they were successful they would not have time to talk about you i guarantee you they are talking about you is a sign to you they are not going anywhere patience can you wait for that child can you wait for prosperity or you are ready to cut corners huh. whatever god cannot give me let it not come home mm. whatever god cannot give me let it not come there are some of you here those who have laughed at you will come and ask you they will soon come and confess and say please tell me how it's happening i laughed because i was frustrated not because i hated you i have wondered how you are doing it sit down let's hurry up faith booster number one patience number two the second key you need to boost your faith is tapping into the power of agreement write it down the second faith booster is the mystery of agreement open your spirit to hear what i'm about to teach you now hmm. matthew 18 from verse 18 to 20 jesus speaking help us please matthew 18 it says verily i say unto you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever ye shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven so he's talking about receiving results next verse that if two of you listen jesus is teaching us a mystery in the spirit that there are certain dimensions that are only activated when there are at least two people there are certain realities in the spirit that cannot be established until there is a witness that if two of you shall agree on earth, listen, I'm talking how many things? I'm talking anything. It didn't say if two of you shall pray. Listen, understand what the Bible is saying. You went to school. If two of you shall do what? <sighs> shall agree. What does it mean to agree? Because this was reiterated in Amos 2, right? Can two walk together except they... 
I will share with you something that will change your life forever right now. The power of agreement. There is a spiritual force that is released in the realm of the spirit. Listen, when you can find, come, when you can find someone to genuinely believe with you that what, listen, I can pray with you and not believe what I'm praying. I have not agreed. It didn't say if any two shall be a witness. To agree means I believe in my spirit that what you are believing God for is doable. And I, I don't just bring my mouth. I bring my heart and my faith. As touching. Where is it? Anything. I believe. Oh, you want triplets. And I'm here with my own belief. I'm not a good agreer. You can pray and I say, oh God. And while you are praying, in the name of Jesus, Lord, thank you for a mecca. His wife must carry triplets this year. And I'm there saying, amen. Do I agree? No. Let me tell you how you know people don't agree. They will leave you and just go to somebody and say, ah! Triplets. You want to kill your wife? You see, let me tell you. That person does not agree with you and that's what we do many of us christians we run to people who sometimes you even know their faith level cannot receive what you are agreeing with listen to agree with you means similar convictions concerning that matter i know god can give me a job of five hundred thousand, and the person said let's pray and then you tell him brother pray for us he said lord what is it that you cannot do we thank you so much he's afraid to mention the issue directly because you know have you seen people like that lord we give you all the praise one thing we know about you is that your will prevails over all he's praying about your issue you clearly said what the issue is and hear how the person is driving around and father we give you the praise in all things be glorified amen you didn't pray for me i don't agree with you that thing is not agreement if any two shall agree as touching as touching lord this person needs to build a house this year i'm agreeing i know it is possible four months is too much for a house to be built lord i agree with him right now he has only hundred thousand and the budget is seven million lord i release my faith genuinely the bible says if you can find a man if it was easy the bible will not it says if i say to you if for any reason you can find a man brothers and sisters it's not as easy as we make it look is finding somebody whose convictions will be similar to yours to agree on an issue i know that we just say in church okay let's agree with one another and of course there's a place for that but the context of this scripture is one who genuinely let me show you two people who did that in scripture the moment mary the holy ghost spoke to mary mary said how shall these things be she needed another woman who has had to believe god for impossible things and so god referred her to someone to agree with her as soon as they met were they praying the baby left that's agreement that's agreement there are people the moment you see them the atmosphere of faith around them will make you to go and adjust what you were praying for the other part you cancel you go and write it back and say what made me cancel it our society is full of foolish friends fraternities that are not profitable spiritually kawana abokina and they are not going anywhere leave do not ever make anybody your closest friend who does not agree with you love is a command association is not all these cultural fraternities we keep dragging to our lives people who have mastered the art of killing our faith you can't share your dreams in their presence because you know they're about to laugh at you god told me that i'm going to have a conglomerate it's a big business and the person laughs at you and says you how are you say how as you are hearing yourself how are you now they, you may laugh but leave that person and never share that kind of thing the mistake joseph made was he shared his dream with people who did not agree with him he suffered 12 years for it 
Thank you. Thank you. The power of agreement. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9. Let's hurry up. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9. When you can find someone who agrees with you, there is a force that is released in the realm of the spirit. The Bible says, read it please everyone. One to read. Two are better than one. Why? Because they have a good reward for their labor. There is a reason why two are better than one. I pray for you. May the person who agrees with you be your spouse. Because, listen, if you're a married person and you have to look for someone outside of your spouse, you are ready to pour water. It's like pouring water on fire every day. Every day. How many spouses don't agree with their husbands? The man speaks a word of faith. She goes back and discusses it with people and say, look at this, this foolish. No wonder he's the way he is. Very stupid man. Honestly, I don't know what made me kite. I was deceived. Let me just agree that I've been cheated. That's a wife talking about her husband. Do you agree with him? I guarantee you many things will go wrong in that house. You don't agree. Th that's part of the blessings of marriage. You should never marry somebody you don't agree with. Figure eight, figure whatever, macho, tall, dark, and handsome, all that is nonsense. If the person does not agree with you, you marry the person, you are going to punish yourself and punish your destiny. Say amen. amen. You see, let me tell you, you can laugh all you can. Let me carry my Bible. You see, there is a way, listen everybody, listen. When the Bible talks of agreement, God is not stupid. Do you know why he made a wife? You think it's just for children? Are we together? There were some things Adam could not have done if Eve did not come. Reproduction is just one. It's the obvious one. Do you know? Let's not. We're not doing marriage seminar. Agreement. The Bible says two are better than one. Because they have a good reward. If you want to experience uh, your life working against this scripture, I hand it over to you. But I advise you, I advise you, never. I don't know why I'm talking about this marriage thing now. Please, ask yourself, the person who is going to go and see your father with you now. Don't say, does he love me? It's not a wise question. Does he agree with me? You are praying in tongues. The person is not praying in tongues. He's just keeping quiet. He's about to stop you. It's because a ring has not entered his hand. The other day you fasted, he kept quiet. You came for koinonia. He, uh, he acted as if he's happy. He's busy watching you. You are, you are seeing lack of agreement right before your eyes. And you are still going. You don't need any prophecy. You are already in trouble. He comes to drop you for koinonia and then goes away. After the grace, you come and wait somewhere there. Don't you know there's a spirit making him do it? You are marrying that spirit too. I hope you are aware. That's how believers cheat themselves. We cheat ourselves because we disobey these simple principles of scripture. I want you to edit the association of your friends. Do it this night. Do it this night. I know what is stopping some of us because I'm about to talk about association briefly. Fear of being criticized. For some of us who are used to it, we, it's like butter on bread. <laughs> There's even nothing to say again. We have mastered the art of riding above criticisms. You have to learn this. If the closest people in your life don't agree with you, you are in trouble. Wrong associations. If you want your faith to rise, you need to create in your life a kingdom community of like-minded god-minded people never forget this creating a kingdom community of like-minded believers is the key to sustaining kingdom values creating a kingdom community of like-minded believers it matters that you are surrounded by a community of men and women whose spiritual perception and convictions are similar to yours. It will shield you 
and it will help you when you fall out it's easy for you to come because there is a community are we together now if you are the greatest prayer warrior in your group you're already in trouble because the day you don't pray every other person is depending on you you see what that means when we talk about community life all those who have been part of this ministry for at least seven eight years will tell you the reason why many people's spiritual lives have risen is the power of community kingdom community it is on grounds of this that i recommend social media platforms i'm not a fan of social media because it's it's, it's, uh, it's largely all junk there it has made the world a psychological world where people don't have you know their their, their emotions are are like rubber they can't stand firm and make decisions everybody's business is everybody's business but it can be harnessed properly are we together everybody say kingdom community, kingdom community. shout it kingdom community. kingdom community we're discussing with Ejimi today he went to escort me to get fuel and we we're just talking with him and i was sharing with him something and i was telling him how that this it is important to be associated with people who you are comfortable practicing what you know to be your christian experience in their midst there are places you are there you want to pray in tongues you must trek as if you are going to buy food then you get to one bush you look you shout ah you don't hear anything then you now turn you think that's a good association yet you you call all those people your best friends they come and see you studying and they love holy mary they, they are not they are not good friends they may not be bad but i can assure you they are not going with you where you need to go you have to change show me your christian community including pastors including men of god show me the kingdom community you have allowed to find expression in your life i will know it by the songs in your phone i will know it by the messages you listen to i will know it by your commitment I will know it by the gist you, the, your talk and everything around pray in one minute and say father please bring to my life all the relevant people who have what it takes to support my faith work lift your voice and pray in one minute lord i, I realize i need friends some of you is just occurring to you right now for the first time that you honestly do not have friends to you about it and you've not taken it serious you really do not have anybody you can call your friend. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians chapter 6, please. 14 to 15. Let's hurry up. Second Corinthians chapter 6, 14 to 15 kingdom association listen let me give you one big advice jesus himself was teaching the disciples a powerful principle of kingdom advance this is what he said he said when you enter a strange city it didn't say start preaching the first thing you need to do is what look for a house where there is a man of peace peace was an ancient word it's called shalom it doesn't just mean somebody who doesn't make trouble Peace there means somebody who is open to receive what you represent and what you are bringing. It says, if you find any, remain there. Let your blessings rest there. So as a, as a copper, when they post you somewhere, the key is not to start going around and say, man, I'm so happy. I can't believe I'm enjoying liberty like this. No, you are wrong. The first thing is to start scouting. Where do we have people in this city who pray that's a spiritual man not where is chicken republic not where is a lounge take what i'm saying seriously and you begin to pray by yourself and say father you have to connect me you have to connect me you have to connect me somebody will just call you and say, ah you are in this town just come and two of you will meet yourself and know oh, what a breath of fresh air you will blast in tongues for three hours 
help yourselves and the next time you will be thinking god is not doing anything in that city until you just find a group of five rugged people who there is always representatives in every city that you have not seen it is it's only because you are not passionate enough they may not have a name for any ministry they are just young people who love god you find them and connect with them they will help your life within your stay in that place and if there is none god will begin to move you it doesn't mean you have to name it the name of your ministry just people who come around oh god give me a small room so that we can have that in two days you have gotten a room these are the, there are prayers see there are prayers that god answers fast any prayer that responds to thy kingdom come you are getting god's answer at once Let more space and all of a sudden you'll be praying and you'll just hear somebody will knock and say sorry are you pastor so 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 and he said no no i'm just sorry he said sorry they led me here who they did they? that's ah if you don't walk by faith you will not know how the holy spirit works one woman will start coming i've taught you the mystery of women when women start coming to your meeting women are gates in the spirit it means something is about to be born it's a sign write it use it any day to walk anything you are doing you don't see women um let me assure you that there is trouble read your bible i'm teaching you spiritual intelligence the first person to herald the resurrection was a woman women are gates in the spirit they signify the birthing of something new the woman will now come she may not even be filled with the holy spirit you're already praying are you seeing that now she will tell you she has two people staying in her house she will drag them the next time from your door they get filled with the holy spirit god is already working by the end of your stay in that place you have over 200 people praying you bless them hand it over to a pastor or inaugurate something there the kingdom has come but the key is to search if you don't find any create one it is god's idea that in every territory there must be platforms that represent center for kingdom activities there must be platforms erected whether as ministries or just as prophetic platforms they could be seasonal or they could be there permanently but god find a space in every territory are we together kingdom community it says but be ye not what unequally yoked with who with unbelievers he said for what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness and what communion has light with darkness 15 and what concord had christ with belial or what part had he that believeth with an infidel the infidel there is not just talking about a non-christian no he's talking about somebody who you do not agree please i want to encourage you you see eh? some of you in koinonia here god has brought precious friends to you hold them you will need them someone who is your friend when you don't have any money he drank gary together no matter how much you have that person is a worthy friend they don't have to be perfect those looking for perfect friends i guarantee you they are not around they don't exist you are not even one of them are we together now the idea is not perfection substitute perfection with sincerity of heart surround yourself man of god this may be a word for you there is nobody to help you there is nobody to share your pain there are people here when you are going through pain there's nobody to share your pain with you you sit alone and die alone god is helping us in jesus name the bible says in psalm 1 blessed is the man who does not stand in the way of sinners nor sit in the seat of the scornful and so on and so forth he says his delight the man is not a wicked man the man is not a sinner the man is not any of those things but he's walking with them he's walking with them eventually he will become them listen when lot chose a land remember lot and abraham when they started quarreling lot the bible says lot settled near sodom everybody say near sodom 
he never entered sodom he settled near sodom when abraham came to rescue him where did he find him in the heart of sodom all you need to do is stay near a smoker after one week the smoke will not enjoy you again you are growing until a day will come you do <laughs> you do smoking competition you say you finish one cigarette don't open your mouth use your nose you have graduated to be a pro shout help me jesus the third faith booster are you getting blessed the third faith booster is the power of praying in tongues the power of praying in the spirit the power of praying in the spirit the third faith booster jude 1 verse 20 just one chapter jude 1 verse 20 but ye beloved look up please but ye beloved building up yourselves on your most holy faith how do you do that pray in the holy ghost pray in the spirit pray in the spirit pray in the spirit the baptism of the holy spirit is not a pentecostal phenomenon it's been wrongly communicated by well-meaning people who love god it's been largely misunderstood and i know that there are all kinds of careless things especially for people in the charismatic circle however an exaggeration of something does not remove the fact that it is there are we together it is very important you build up your most holy faith listen there is capacity to believe god that is built as you engage praying in the spirit for many of us our prayer are just need driven angry prayers that are largely amiss are we together first corinthians 14 please help us media first corinthians 14 from verse 2 to 4 i'm interested in verse 4 but let's look at verse 2 first corinthians 14 first corinthians not samuel first corinthians help us please first corinthians verse 2 for he that speaketh in an unknown tongue does what speaketh not unto men there's already a teaching on that now please let me just say this praying in tongues listen and the gift of diverse kinds of tongues are not the same don't let anyone confuse you are we together the gift of diverse kinds of tongues is prophecy in an unknown language it is given for public edification and it's not for everyone but the prayer language of praying in tongues the bible says for he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men right but unto god for no man understandeth him how be it in the spirit he does what he speaketh not is that what the bible says he speaks it may sound like nonsense but the bible says in the spirit he speaks what in the physical it sounds like nonsense but in the spirit he speaks mysteries verse 4 verse 4 he that speaketh in an unknown tongue does what edify himself not his congregation so there is a place of spiritual growth where praying in the holy ghost i know you are praying but what are you saying praying in the spirit is what i call distilled prayers you know like you said distilled water the purest form of prayer praying in the spirit why for the bible says no man it says that um we 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 do not know how to pray as we ought to right but the spirit itself make it intercession for us I know you are filled with the holy spirit but are you utilizing the presence of the holy spirit and the blessings of praying in the spirit that he has brought that's why every time people get born again we always recommend when the ministry was not very big then i used to do it myself we we'll all do it just get people filled with the holy spirit listen believers hear me it is important that after someone gives his life to christ he will pass through the experience of the baptism of the holy spirit with evidence of praying in tongues 
if the person was not taught that way politely teach the person even if you have not exercised your faith and your your the grace of god upon your life to minister to the person lead the person to the place where he will be ministered to forget about whatever mindset they have don't worry just lead them there in koinonia here we have a very robust prayer department now you know I'm, I'm all busy and i don't have all that time to minister to people again but the prayer department there is a special prayer meeting dedicated for the infilling of the holy spirit and what glorious testimonies have come from that many people here have been filled with the holy spirit from those experiences please if you are here and you are not filled with the holy spirit you are not praying in tongues i want you to know that you are missing out on something i don't care whatever theology you have been given something is wrong something is wrong are we together now don't insult your pastor don't condemn your church whatever it is but i am telling you you are shortchanging yourself there is a dimension of growth and power and faith and spiritual development you will never be able to access and for those of us who god has granted us grace with the anointing contribute in getting people filled with the holy spirit don't just hold prayer meetings and pray and people fall down and stand up and go let people be filled with the holy spirit amen praying in the spirit brothers and sisters i cannot begin to describe to you how spiritual you become when you pray in the spirit bring a weak person we have seen in this ministry weak people weak people people as weak as whatever promise come let me use you for an, for instance i hope you don't mind i always love using him he shared his testimony this guy came into zaria with earrings and dreadlocks this is the assistant head of prayer for a great ministry like koinonia are we together but i can tell you his addiction for god is contagious and god has given him speed his life is moving at the speed of faith that's why today when he ministers to you you see the power of the holy spirit through his life oh no no matter how weak you are the spirit of god the cure for weakness is not thank you thank you it's not getting angry with people the cure for weakness is engaging in the spirit let me tell you no matter how timid you are i give you a recipe oh you see you you don't know my problem i came from a background where you know everybody didn't believe in me you are not alone we all came from the same background but you you pray your way out of that nonsense in the spirit i have seen people who could not even look at the face of another person you think it's easy for ministers to just stand and hold the mic no one is born with that grace but this is what you receive when you pray in the spirit capacity to believe god you don't just pray when you have problems and you are praying and say hey, go god i'm now praying no you better be hearing me no make it a culture you are walking on the road you don't have to just close the door you are walking you don't have to be shouting and disturbing everybody you are moving around you are just praying i'm teaching you a secret you turn on your bed in the night some of you you turn in the night and you speak nonsense because that's the content of your spirit you only make sense when you are wide awake do you know if you have to be awake to make sense you are not spiritual because your body is only a material i'm telling you this have you seen people who went to the bed of surgery and while they were operating on them they were not in their consciousness they were praying in tongues others were prophesying that's the content in their spirit are we together some of you you sleep with someone you turn in the night they don't come you get up in the morning and swear and deny you never said it that in our family you change it your spirit is like a machine you can program it blessed in the name of the lord you see these little children you are seeing all these are our little children the content in their spirit is faith and faith only i watch them while we pray 
everybody run to their parents if they see no attention they find something to do themselves and they are touching themselves and praying and his child is there doing her own Aaron's child is doing it to me they are all jamming themselves and all others they are joining in what they are doing let me tell you what they are doing they are programming their spirit the moment their faculties can express it you will marvel and wonder you will see that the prophetic these children begin to prophesy and you're saying when was it built it's not when was it built there was nothing else that was there that's why if you like marry an unbeliever that you you will produce children with double values double standards you are speaking jesus another person is speaking culture you know when we say these things people think we're just i will keep drumming it because i want you to get it right in koinonia there's zero tolerance for marrying an unbeliever not even an unbeliever an unserious person There are clear indices. I don't know why I've been coming here and talking about this thing this night. Ladies, let me give you a formula. Any man that is not under authority is a dangerous man. Hmm. Any man that nobody can talk to. You can't say, Jimmy, why did you do this? Sit down. No. That's how he will beat you and lock the door and put the key in his pocket. Because he doesn't respect authority. For now he can buy you things but don't be deceived men can be absolutely deceitful i'm a man i know what i'm telling you get what i'm telling you men can be absolutely deceitful buying you cake is not love no sending you recharge card is not love are we together you must be very serious you don't have to say yes just ask them to come and see me just hand them just tell them i think you need to see apostle if he runs away that's your deliverance straight up let me assure you if he runs away don't cry just say lord i thank you you see i've been asking you to help me now you have done it again i don't know any home i say this with every sense of sincerity we have a lot of wedding cards there are two more i'm going to announce you see me with wedding cards and I can tell you, by God's grace, there is a track record of marriages that work in Koinonia. You see marriages here, they work. There is a science to peace. It's not just about praying in tongues. You know that you will not disagree on certain. Yeah, there can be little disagreements here and there. But as far as the foundational truths about God, no sir, you've got that covered. May that happen to you. May that happen to you. Don't sit down, you go and you are doing a relationship like occultism, you alone, you are just doing your thing, the guy is deceiving you, and then you just come and bring a letter and say you are marrying. No matter who and what you marry will be there, but the remaining part of it, I guarantee you, you are the one who will be there. Please be determined. One of the greatest decisions you can make today as you are hearing me speak, is that even if I failed in every area, I must force this thing to work. And I'm telling you, if your faith says yes, God will not say no. The God of heaven will make it work. Praying in the spirit. Praying in the spirit. Two more, and then we'll wrap up for tonight. The third faith booster is praying in the spirit. The fourth is the power of praise and thanksgiving. Now pay attention, because what I'm about to tell you is very powerful powerful is a key that very few believers especially pentecostals or and charismatics understand this key very well many of us especially conservatives and orthodox do not know the power of praise and thanksgiving we call praise and thanksgiving a nuisance but it's a key and i want to show you what it does i want to show you the role it plays in the manifestation of results in your life write this down pray and thanksgiving are the keys that control the manifestation the manifestation call them the postmen that bring your your the answers of your prayer the way bill man that brings your is praise and thanksgiving call me a praise and thanksgiving your faith can buy the phone 
but I guarantee you it is through the vehicle of praise and thanksgiving are we together Jeremiah 30 verse 19 Jeremiah 30 verse 19 we're going to look at a few scriptures very quickly Jeremiah 30 verse 19 and then we'll look at Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 and 7 Jeremiah 30 verse 19 listen and they will not be small why because out of them shall proceed thanksgiving thanksgiving is a indication of faith hmm. you don't just thank God for what has manifested you thank God to make it manifest you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah you are good and your mercy is forever The key to delivering the answers to your prayer the key to delivering it making it manifest is thanksgiving philippians chapter 4 please quickly 6 and 7 doesn't mean you should be careless with your life god will not do that the word careful there is the word anxious anxious it says let your request be known unto god using this formula receive from god using this formula thank you jesus it's a powerful thing to say lord i thank you lord i thank you sometimes you just need after you have prayed and fasted and done everything praise and thanksgiving ah praise awaits thee oh god in zion praise and thanksgiving has turned around the lives of people I wrote something down here that I want you to write. Pray thanksgiving guarantees the manifestation of your desire. Praise and thanksgiving guarantees the manifestation of your desire. John 11, 41. We're reading to 44. John 11. Let's see what Jesus did at the grave of Lazarus. See. In fact, before we go to John 41, please give us Mark 11. Mark 11, let's look at 23 and 24. Jesus taught something that is very instructive. Look at this. The character of faith with thanksgiving. Let's look at Mark. Okay, verily, verily, I say unto you, that whosoever shall say to this mountain, 24. Jesus is talking to us now. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire. It says, when ye pray, do what? believe that thou receivest it unto you, and thou shalt have it. Are you seeing there? So there's an interplay of two words: receive and have. What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that what you have received, and then you will you will having is in the future but even is immediate you receive by faith when to have it you receive it so the bible says as many as received him their lives may not look like they have him but they have received him and with time their lives must demonstrate the mystery of godliness god in a man john eleven forty one. 41 44 jesus is standing at the grave the grave of lazarus john 11 please quickly 41 then they took away from the place where the dead was laid and jesus listen jesus told the father he said father i thank thee that thou heard me how many times have you seen jesus giving thanks in the midst of challenges remember when he was multiplying five loaves and two fish the same thing he lifted it to heavens and he said he gave thanks the bible says and he told the guys go and distribute it next verse me which stand by i said it that thou may believe that thou hast sent me then 43 
and when he had thus spoken he cried out with a loud voice Lazarus come forth now watch this you would call Jesus you would say Jesus does not have faith why will you still call Lazarus forth when you have said thank you I've had a lot of teachings well meaning teachings that make it look like when you pray and pray emphatically you don't have faith no sir no sir persistent prayer is accurately recommended from scripture there is a place of persistent prayer elijah did it the bible uses his story in james 5 to give us a portrait of a life of prayer 44 and he that was there did what came forth thanksgiving so when you are thanking god it's not because the miracle has manifested but that you know that you are giving room for it to find expression say in the name of jesus active a blessing a provision from scripture for my life and i declare that i will live a life of thanksgiving and praise hallelujah the lord led me to speak on something when i was writing this and the lord told me something I, I will write it exactly as he told me he said teach your people to jealously guard their joy write it down teach your people to jealously guard their joy isaiah please verse 3 joy joy plays a big role in the manifestation of miracles in our lives i want you to read it if you're a christian of salvation so it likens salvation to wells there's healing there's prosperity are we together now joy when two people are fighting the first thing that disappears is laughter joy joy is of the holy ghost there is difference between joy and happiness if i give you money you'll be happy joy is of the spirit it's not tied to circumstances it's an activity of the spirit like eternal life that is at work in a believer it says rejoice jealously guard your joy joy killers there are naysayers there are sadists there are bad talkers listen please hold on let me say something that is very striking you see social media is part of what we were talking with Ajimi this morning social media your mobile device whatever gadget you have if you are not careful it will add to destroying your joy and your peace are you getting what i'm saying now yeah because we live in a world where the whole world is a global village anybody can say nonsense when he or she wants to say whatever and destroy your joy you have a responsibility to guard your joy you don't have to read everything they post on newspaper are you hearing what i'm saying you don't have to read every text that comes to your phone it's not compulsory hmm. you don't have to go for every meeting and every program joy killers there are people who destroy your joy you get up in the morning the moment you hear them your whole day is dampened their dreams are bad dreams their talk is bad talk their prophecy is bad prophecy there is nothing communicated to you that can minister life that's not of the spirit hallelujah somebody had been disturbing me one time i think two years ago you know he had been saying he has a prophetic word for me i said what is all this one day? why send it now he said no 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 god said he must see me and so when i now he now came and saw me and the guy was just warning me he said god said i told him i said get out of this place please if that's what you want i'm i'm very open to hearing the word of god but this thing you are talking is absolute nonsense please leave this place god is not somebody in your pocket that you keep and bring out when you want to just just leave this place with all that that nonsense you know there are people who believe if prophecy is not negative it's not powerful so they derive the power from the negativism they when it reacts by emotion with fear they say that's right this is conviction no 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 prophecy is for edification for reproof for comfort are we together you must guard your joy brothers and sisters listen 
Right now, there are many things happening in this nation that can destroy your joy. All you need to do is put on your news for 10 minutes and almost everything irritates you. You hear that someone is killing this person. Pick your newspaper. They are lambasting a man of God. They are doing this and that. They are lambasting the president, Buhari, and his wife. They are lambasting this. They are lambasting that. You now turn to the paper and then the person who is writing it and all kinds of things. You will destroy yourself if you keep yourself in that atmosphere ask anybody who knows me i part of my assignment is to design my environment with things that keep me motivated and joyful you whenever you come to my environment the environment forces you regardless of what your mindset is you instantly subscribe to the protocol of that environment i plan to live a very long life see there are people who you see somebody you think is 50 you say how old are you, you say i just clocked 27 and you are wondering so what is wrong say ah, why when you have you ever sponsored yourself and you see people wrinkled and angry stand in the morning tomorrow saturday people are supposed to be rested just stand in the morning and see how angry people are an angry conductor talking to an angry driver opening their door angry passengers matter now early in the morning no good morning this is the kind of society i'm not mocking them i'm saying joy is a scam commodity in our world a pastor comes to climb the stage with his anger things didn't work well at home he just a simple message from god you lash it down everybody knows you are angry and it has nothing to do with your preaching say i will remain joyful say it i'll remain joyful there are men of God who are angry because people write all kinds of things about them. A pastor once called me and he said um, a senior man of God he respected in his area was teaching in their, you know, like the, their church and spoke about him and said all these boys, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Just tore him down and he said, Apostle, but you know, I, this is not how my life is. And I looked at him, I laughed. I said, how many years have you been in ministry? And he said, two years. I said, that's why. There is a way this thing is like a shoe there's a way you wear it that your leg becomes the same temperature with the shoe it no longer can hurt you it's when you remove it and give somebody you wear it and say ah that's what you've been wearing say that's how i live it's not that it comes once in a while ah may god give you grace to sit under fire and laugh yeah. <laughs> i want to be a man of god there are many people who want to be pastors. They think all there is to ministry is just sitting in front. And then your first one year, you receive a bitter shock. Nobody in your environment likes you. And you are saying, God, this was not the baguette. God, just continue. God knows how to motivate you. Hmm. Joy. There is nothing in this life, hear me, that is, and I've gone through many things in my life. But there is nothing in this life that has the capacity of stealing my joy. No. That I wake up in the night, I can't sleep, I just sit down. And you say, Apostle, what's wrong? I say, Kai, life. <laughs> is it funny? It's like you are mocking me. No, no. Live a life of joy. I know there's no money in your pocket, but you cannot carry your heart on your face. Every what is wrong with you joy you see people frowning in society hold my hands just see someone moving i wanted to i intended holding a lady back to send her. <laughs> sorry sorry this husband and wife oh watch this husband and wife on the way are we going just follow me <laughs> you are going to a shop uh hey, oga please give something which one are you and this ah bros please please huh? you are not my counselor don't, don't talk to that this is my ah. brothers may you never be that kind of husband <laughs> hallelujah you are driving you are angry you are angry till you almost want to die and then the devil knows how to make things go bad you make somebody want to hit you just bring your hand like this you are you are broken. You leave this is, and then you turn back, and you are hearing Koinonia message. <laughs> Do 
to respond to life. I will not react. I will respond. To respond means you are in charge of what you want to do. To react means what happened to you will force you to do things you do not want. No, sir. If you look at me right now and you hate me, like many people do all around, I mean, it would be stupid to imagine everybody loves me. There are people who hate me just like you. I mean, I mean, just like they hate you too. Not that you hate me. I know you love me. But I'm saying just like they hate you. Oh, all around. They hate us all. We're talking about a man of God. I read an article that was tearing a man of God who I would say if you put a number one man of God in this nation, he has the cleanest record ever. And somebody was tearing him. I just told the Jimmy this morning, I said, there's no survival for anybody. We're all going to go through that thing. If this man can be criticized, just for walking in miracles you are in trouble do you know that yeah i watch people not you but i watch people as we travel around when miracles become extreme you see the people looking they now become uncomfortable why which ministry did you say this guy is <laughs> I've got joy like a river, joy like a river, joy like a river in my soul. I've got joy like a river, joy like a river, joy like a river, joy like a river. Joy like a river, my soul. I've got joy like a river. Joy like a river. Joy like a river in my soul. Hallelujah. Somebody called me this morning from the east. He's getting married on Saturday and the money is not enough. And the guy called me shaking, angry, and saying, look, that he has released his faith, he sowed seed. And I told him, I said, my brother, you are going to marry. Take it easy. See, let me tell you, when Satan tries to take the whole world to put on your head, refuse, reject it, and stand on it. Your head is too small to carry the whole world. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't act as if the whole world is on you. Do you run? I know. Relax. Your worry. The Bible says, which of you by worrying can add a cubit? A cubit. Worry does not help anything, but it destroys everything. Pressure number one, be calm. Number two, involve God. Number three, settle down and receive wisdom and strategy. Say, I reject worry. Please, brothers and sisters, don't think I don't know what I'm saying. I do. Reject worry. Men will throw it at you. Reject it. It will come as house rent. Reject it. It will come as no money for food. Reject it. If people want to come and in a bit to sympathize with you, they want to massage that worry and put it in diplomatically throw it out. Casting all your cares upon him. Why? For he cares. hallelujah psalm 67 verse 5 let the people praise thee O god psalm 67 verse 5 we're rounding up let the people praise thee O god psalm 67 let the people praise thee O god let the people praise thee let the people praise thee when you read down it tells you that the earth shall yield its increase right it says then shall the earth yield her increase our god will bless us the earth will only yield her increase when the people praise see it is in this one thing that every religion on earth agrees that there is a negative energy that is released from you when there is no joy is that true that's the cause of depression if you ever if anybody ever tells you i have high blood pressure tell them it's a lie you know when people tell me how is the burden of ministry i say burden i'm one of the most privileged man of god in this city and around this place lovely workers lovely people people who love me and believe in me i mean what more can i ask for i'm a happy man don't ever let anybody join you in anger 
say, Kai, I'm angry. You too, Abi. Say, no, I'm not angry. I'm not angry. There's this song. I'm acknowledging you for... Sing it for me. For what you've done in my life. I'm acknowledging you for who you are. Dance like you are. Dance like you are. I'm acknowledging you for who you are. Listen, let me give you a secret. You may not have paid attention to it. 80% of the things you worry about never happen. Go back and check yourself. Check the track records. Something always happens. But the worry kills you. There's a story I read a few, um, um, some, some years ago about armed robbers who came to a place and the man and his wife, uh, you know, two of them were lying and she tapped him. He was doing as if he was sleeping. They were real armed robbers and, you know, tapping him, the man, honey, you know, get up. I expect you to do something. You are the man, you are the priest of the home. And the man tried to act as if he was sleeping. She insisted that he wake up. And when he woke up, do you know, because of the fear, the woman took courage and she got her. She was shouting, praying, you know, saying blood of Jesus, shouting. Eventually, the armed robbers left because the house was well secured. Do you know when she came back, the man had died? True story. Was it a gunshot that killed him? Fear is a spirit. Worry is a spirit. Depression is a spirit. Anger is a spirit. All these things are spirit. The Bible tells us that spirits search for human bodies. Don't let them land on your own. I choose to be happy. I choose to be joyful. I'm a very joyful person. If you're a joyful person, you are my friend. If you're not a joyful person, I love you. We're part of God's big family, but you are not part of my immediate family. I assure you. I cannot tolerate joyless people. Honestly. That's why when people are talking, if you are crying out of pain, I understand I'm human. But where we now say, okay, calm down. A word has come from God. You are still crying. No, 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 no. Relax. God's word has come. There are people here. There's a family here. They are here to see me. They lost their child. Are they here? Where are they? This family you see seated right now. They lost. You lost your child? They lost their child. Can you imagine? They came all the way. They've been trying to see me. So when I say joy, you've not lost anything. You didn't lose your finger. You didn't lose your head. Yes. And they are pastors. You are pastors, right? They are ministers of the gospel loving God. And so you see the word is comforting them. And yet they came still believing in God. For some people, this is the last time they will come to church. May, may you love God to a point that nothing that happens in your life, good or bad, will ever steal your joy. The Bible says, what shall separate us from the love of God? It may not always be rosy, but I guarantee you, you can choose to be joyful you say yes i rejoice lord i expected you to show up in a way but you did not show up but i still give you thanks the carryover will not come lord 10 people testified that their carryovers were waived why did my own stay in it i still give you thanks it will cost me one extra session but lord i know that you are a master at converting wasted opportunities to a blessing therefore i know you are up to something instead of complaining say lord i hand over my extra year take it as a sacrifice and use it that's how you buy time hmm. hallelujah the last of the faith boosters and then we'll pray is the bond of perfectness the bond of perfection love galatians 5 verse 6 the last of the faith boosters galatians chapter 5 verse 6 i want us to read it together it says for in jesus christ neither circumcision availed anything nor uncircumcision uh-huh read it now by love 
when the love of god love here is twofold listen love towards god and love towards men it can be love towards god alone are we together and it can be love towards men alone it must be love towards god and love towards men there are so many sad loveless believers they love god but there's no iota of love you can easily know somebody who does not have love their lives they are like sadists they don't rejoice at the lifting of anybody oh he just became a medical doctor and hey, was there was there medical doctor then what how does that give you salary in this wicked nigeria you don't have love see let me tell you when someone's success is not worth celebrating it's a sign that something is wrong with your love life jealousy bitterness all these attributes are derivatives of a life that is void of love are we together i really love people that's one of i think is one of the most powerful gifts that god gave to me in fact my name means the way to love beautiful name name your child that the way to love yeah instead of all these nonsense names people give children that bring curses on people you name a child stubborn you name a child idiot whether it is tribal idiot or english idiot it's still the same thing you give children names that are both scriptural and very sound the way to love jesus said this by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples not when you pray in tongues not when you preach well not when you walk miracles not when you have money not when you have a crowd love love i want to ask you a very serious question number one do you love jesus don't say yes just listen do you love jesus number two do you love men do you love men can you actually come come tabitha can you actually look at this lady and say i love you some of us if you say i love you the person you are saying i love you to will run away because your i love you is poisonous and self-centered and not genuine i love you means i want your money i love you means i want something from you are we together listen let me tell you the love life of a believer is a powerful key is the key to health is the key to longevity is the key to freshness spiritually biologically let me tell you something god taught me you know I, I've, I've shared it here please give us that scripture first corinthians 13 there it says um love never fails look for it love never fails love never fails when the bible tells you want to work with something that does not fail there are many things that fail the banking system can fail are we together the educational system can fail the employment system can fail here is a formula that god gives you have you found it ah. love never fails yes that's it the word charity is love okay it says love never fails say it after me love never fails that means anything i want to do i can make it fail proof by adding love like an antivirus are we together now i know what i'm saying you may not put the principles but when you are about to fail love because there is love there love never fails all this gossip around bad biting around contributing to tearing people around sitting down in groups bringing the cases and the stories of people men of god pastors tearing people down fathers mothers all of those kinds of things they are expressions of hate let me tell you who loses in the end you you i want you to make up your mind today that the love life will be the template of your living it's a beautiful thing to love people when i stand and talk to people i'm going to be talking to people after the service i'm going to be doing 
ask the workers listen listen you can ask every leader in this house i love them they will tell you i love them not just because of the blessings not just because i i genuinely love them if you are a worker in this house and you have not experienced the love in this house you are not a true worker when i hear that any of our people are down whether or not i'm around somebody is there the, the spirit of love is where the anointing flows from don't use people let me give you a secret don't use people to make money don't use people to build an empire don't use people love people and jesus said something that is very terrible he says love them that hate you persecute you despitefully use you now that's a painful one i understand loving somebody who loves me back but how do i love somebody who does not love me that's where it becomes spiritual are we together when you love somebody who cannot give you anything back in return your love is genuine brothers and sisters let me tell you something love is a powerful force love is not a feminine thing love is not just an emotional thing for ladies and men who are interested in them love is a formula the bible says these three remain faith hope and love what is the greatest love first corinthians 13 12 after listing all of the gifts of the spirit he says but i show you a more excellent way and that more excellent way is the way of love all these people you have in your black book in the name of jesus burn that book tonight change it to a white book in the name of jesus over my dead body this sister you came and collected my husband something i know is my own you came and did this you came and collected this you collected my job all this rubbish and then there are men of god who enforce those things through prophecy and through all of those nonsense make up your mind today that if there is anybody you are holding in the heart you must let it go what's that song you sing worship song lay it down you know the song lay it down lay it down that's the part of the song lay it down hot listen god is speaking to someone now there are there are people here the only person you love in your life is you the only person who can live with you is you nobody else something is wrong with you not the people you are talking about tonight lay it down we're rounding up faith works by love you will never have faith to heal people when you don't love them no no you'll never have faith to bless people god will never commit to you the true riches of the kingdom if the purpose of your wanting to be a millionaire and a billionaire is to mock people and say you laughed at me yesterday now see what god has done no you see people do it all around those people are not they are not sound believers i'm ministering to you we are rounding up right now there are so many believers carrying luggages that they should not carry pain hot i will not be surprised if there are people here you love god but you never see eyeball to eyeball when you see yourself you just pass how are you the other person says fine it's just the sound you need you don't need the person's face hallelujah you must learn to love the law of love is where the power of god is released the bible never said god has love there is the faith of god but the love of god it says god himself is love and he that walks in love walks in god you can't you are in christ and not have love love requires forgiveness shout forgiveness Amen. say it again love requires tolerance say tolerance not everything in people will change you have to forbear it's a spirit the grace to forbear are we together love requires sacrifice everyone says sacrifice yeah there is a dimension of love that is painful tears may come out of your eyes but you choose to love you do this and you will see the power of the holy spirit man of god let me encourage you whether or not your members are encouraging you whether they are sowing into your life or blessing you keep loving them love them genuinely 
pray for them more than you pray for yourself and watch what happens don't use them to make a name are we together there are many ministers who use members these are my flocks these are my my sheep jesus is the shepherd the, the 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 only shepherd around that we know was david and all of these people but jesus said i am the good shepherd if you claim to be a shepherd outside of him you're a bad shepherd i am the good shepherd you don't treat people like animals all these are my children some sons daughters flock arrogantly i don't know how people have the confidence to do that if i do that kind of thing will i be able to sleep listen we are going to pray but i want us to do something i'm going to allow you the next two to three minutes don't come here don't come on stage but you are going to walk around to everybody listen i want you to hug and greet the person and say i love you even if it's an enemy i'm not saying go to somebody you like don't don't it's a prophetic instruction i want you to walk around while you are doing that i want you to use this movement to lay down every heart all this wrinkle you are having you it has left your face to your life you need to drop it and say no no i i, I cannot i can't do this to myself i'm too young to be this frustrated my life will work nigeria is working you are not happy with nigeria there's nothing you can do you're a nigerian hug yourself into joy and peace and motivate yourself you're going to do that honestly are we together those outside inside those online find somebody to hug if there's nobody hug your bible and say in the name of jesus my life is working rise up now in the name of jesus rise up now in the name of jesus Open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit. Shabarado Satalabaria. Walks now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In my heart only comes alive every time I hear your voice. It comes alive every time I hear your voice. You're here in this place tonight. Listen to me. There are people here who are saying, Man of God, I've heard your word. My love life is dead. I don't even love God. But I've heard your word now. I thought there was no opportunity for me to love him again but now i'm finding a family that tells me i can make it with him again wherever you are you've never made a decision for this jesus there are others you've given your heart to the lord but for some reason things happen around your life and you are saying i never knew he could love me again and i'm ready to return back to him wherever you are please we have just two minutes for you inside outside i know there are people they are saying, man of God, I've been waiting for a preacher to tell me that it's never over. You've heard one tonight. Wherever you are, I want you to leave your seat and come out right now. Don't wait for anybody to come. Don't wait for anybody to come. The Lord is convicting people. The Lord is convicting people inside me. Give me a new beginning. Turn, to, turn towards me. Give me a new beginning. I need to make your way to the front. Hallelujah. 
I like you to lift your right hand and pray if you're coming please hurry up join them you are not reciting a poem this is from the depth of your heart say after me Lord Jesus I truly love you I am tired of the way my life is I'm tired of managing my life by myself I hand over that life to you it belongs to you I receive eternal life into my spirit and I declare that from tonight you are my Lord you are my Savior forever your life is in me and I'm a changed person amen and amen let me pray for you father I pray for these ones they have heard your word and they have come many of them are trusting you for new beginnings Lord start afresh with them in the name of your son Jesus and I pray that you glorify yourself in them use them mightily use them greatly change their lives give meaning to their destinies in the name of Jesus Christ I congratulate all of you please I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands they'll have your details and they'll follow you up more warmly on our behalf they'll communicate a few details to you you're welcome God bless you hallelujah believe you have been blessed by this message. Hello beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching